He'd won three editions of this tournament, but that just all came crashing down in a 7-0 demolition. Not Michael van Gerwen's first whitewash defeat on the European soil. He was beaten by Peter Wright in the final in the European Darts Grand Prix five years ago, 6-0. So not totally uncharted territory, but this was a first-to-seven encounter for Luke Humphries in that semi-final. And I think it's fair to say nobody on planet Earth saw that coming. Certainly not us in the commentary box, me, Rob Malarkey, and alongside me for the final once again. Jacques Nulatz, who is uh, somehow still coming to terms with what we've just seen. That's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, that semi-final made some impression. I mean, Humphreys was out of this world good. We know he can be this good, and he produces it sometimes, but it's always a pleasure to watch it. And, well, Van Gerwen, uh, it's not the first time Six he's on the receiving end of a bit of a trashing by Humphreys. That semi-final of the UK Open always springs to mind as well. But wow, 100. what a display from Humphreys. But again, can he do it again? Because he needs to do it again. Lukman has been really, really good. So Luke, the man, needs to perform as well. Yes, certainly. Um, I mean, 41. if you're going to ask me outright now in the early stages who's going to win, I would have to say Humphreys. I just thought there was a lot to be said. Well, first and foremost, his oh, tournament average coming into the final was 99.75 to Lutman's 91. I just thought there was something the way about Humphreys left the stage. It was clearly, OK, that's great, 7-0, but it's not over yet. There's still more work to be done. And there was a real look of focus in his eyes as he headed off the stage straight away. Martin Lutman, on the other hand, by the way, was happy to do a couple of belly rolls outside and he was in you know, good spirits. He's clearly enjoying this. I just hope that he's retained and maintained his focus for this one because it would be a shame if this one were to suddenly just pass him by in the blink of an eye as it is he's got a shot here at 160 although Humphreys primed and ready to break once again 60 he's already Luke missed three 20. he hasn't missed much tonight Double four he's got the first one uh, there's the 1-0. Well, do you know what? That is now Same nine league. legs without Three reply four, because you have the decider Three. against Wesley Plazier. Seven without reply against Van Gerwen. And now he's got the first one here against Lutman as well. I mean, nine, I think that's got to count for something as well. He just doesn't know what it's like to lose legs right now. It's on a roll. And 46 players we've had in the final of a Easy Euro five. Tour prior to this one. So Lutman and Humphreys are numbers 47 and 48. Actually, close to the 50 mark. And about half of those players have only been in one final. 22 of them. So it's not a certainty once you're in one that you'll return 100. for another one. Players These like Van Barneveld, for instance, yep. who was in one oh, in 2012 and hasn't returned to one since. There's some other noticeable names to maybe even forgotten by now. Wes Newton was in one. Jamie Lewis was in one. Just to name a few from that impressive list. 59. So Martin Lutman, the 23rd unseeded player to reach a European Tour final. Devin Peterson was the most recent one in Hildesheim a couple of years ago. Five ton plus checkouts a piece as well for these two. They produce some spectacular finishes. I think Lutman will take the honours for that one, given the 1 2 5 against Hetter in his semi final. Bull 25, bull double 16 for Humphreys. That was a chance. Lutman's on a bogey number anyway, but Humphreys is clearly setting himself high standards here. He doesn't want to miss too many chances. He wants to keep going. He doesn't want anything to threaten this run that he's on. 92. Luke requires 32. Inside for double four, won't want to mess about two as long as it now. Double four once again comes to his rescue. 2 0. He's got a bit of time in these legs, so he can miss a few doubles. Uh, and Lukman staat aan het verkeerde tafeltje te drinken. So that one will have to be taken away just in case. Yep. All right, let's sort this out. He's at the wrong table. I think we can excuse Lutman here because obviously, well, we can excuse either of them really, but Lutman in Game particular on. there for the mistake because, you know, big occasion, never been here before, may just have uh, lost sight of the etiquette. 
Well, and he was on the other table in the semi-final, wasn't he? So it's it's easily done. Yeah. I kind of like Nine what they six. do in the Premier League when they have the signs, the electric signs at the table saying this is your table. Yeah, they could do it like a, a green disc for Ritman just to emphasize that's his, or a blue one for Humphreys. Anyway, etiquette aside, we move on. Humphreys leading by two legs to nil. And that's now ten legs without reply. Easy in total. One thing to keep an eye on. I mean, we could be on course for a, some sort of European tour record here. I mean, we did see a whitewash in a final fairly recently when Gerwin Price beat Sulevich 8-0. Oh, at the end of last year. Yeah, you don't really like to see those kinds of finals, do you? You want no. to see a real battle. You, the thing is, though, sometimes you get it because it is a long day. Oh, and if you're not used to it, although Sulevich in his defence is more than used to, and he's played in Euro 12 finals before, I think he just simply ran out of steam. But there's no oh, sign of Blue Humphreys running out of steam. He's down to 96 on the Lutman throw, and yeah. And the Lutman's got to get it together here. The day for Lutman has been oh, special. I think he was in the first of the last 16 matches in the afternoon, so that's one o'clock. Double 18 for a 96 checkout. 78. One or two whistles made oh, just to got the better of Luke Humphreys there. He didn't look too happy. I think the crowd wants to see a contest here. Inside for double 10 for Lutman. Outside the wire, Humphreys ready to pounce, and he will get the chance to return. I think the crowd are Moving clearly siding with 18. Lutman here. They want a final, they want competitive darts here. No score. Not there yet, however. Marvin, you require a lot of misses. 20. My Humphreys so far in this final. He's on the line. takes it then. Yeah, well that's uh, a rare thing for Humphreys of late, 99. I mean had he finished like that against Van Gogh and it may well have been a very different story, but uh, just can't get over how emphatic and destructive he was in that semi-final, just simply blew him away, you will not see that often. I mean let's not forget though, Luke Humphreys is the three. world number 18, so on the face of it it's not a massive shock that he won the match and he has beaten him before as we mentioned at the UK Open big match semi-final 11-5 six leg margin 100 but uh, trounce in 7-0 in a, a venue or a, in a tournament where Van Gerwen's never lost before that is something else and they have been great all weekend the fans in Munich they've come with loads, because it's been a sellout nearly all weekend, and there's been a great atmosphere all along in the Zenith. Go to your heart. Yeah, first tournament in a while in Germany without any sort of crowd restrictions in terms of numbers. Hildesheim, there was a limit on the numbers there, but this has been free reign and. 140. We require 30. It's uh, provided a, a brilliant backdrop. Double 18 for Humphreys. Back Important, I thought, there for Humphreys to maintain that two leg cushion. To throw first. Doesn't want to give Came him on. too much encouragement because he will, he will thrive on that. Whatever happens here, though, Lutman is guaranteed his biggest payday. Ninety-six. Ten thousand pounds for the losing finalist and £10,000 that would effectively, given what he's done in Hildesheim, maybe book his place in the European Championship, I would have thought, as well. Yeah, I think so. The winner but guaranteed to breeze into the European Championship now with the 25 grand of ranking money on board. Oh, he's really close to getting to the match play. Yep. He's in the field now, provisionally. And that is an even bigger payday if you make it there and get a, through a few rounds there. Who knows? And of course, also significantly, it, it opens doors in terms of it will just give him that belief to go on and, and do it again and again on the on the Pro Tour, for example. And I'm sure we'll see him again on the Euro Tour as well. 
he's certainly got a taste for it now. And winning one of these, I know it's not a certainty, but it could get you into the Grand Slam. So there's a lot of avenues you yeah. go to into once you win one of these European events. Doors start to open as a result of your time on the European Tour, if it is a 60. productive time. And Luka Fritz, semi-finalist in Hungary fairly recently, looking to go not just one better, but maybe two better and take the honours. Now then, tops, tops, not quite to be for Martin Lubman. Luka Rikwan, 118-0-18, awaiting Humphreys for a 4-1 lead. That's the trouble, he needs a single 18 to go tops. Oh, get the flight. Yeah, it was a little bit low, but it did Martin, you clip on the 20. way through, and... Lutman just takes a moment, just has a glug of water from the correct bottle on the correct table. Double ten to reduce the arrears to 3-2. He really is taking his time over this one, Jack, I've got to say. This is an important dart, or set of darts, for Martin Lutman. And he's come inside for double five. Yeah. Yeah. Well, take that. That's that's important. The more you think about it, it usually doesn't get much more easy. To easy hit five. But he did it. And that's all that counts. But you've got this feeling that Lukman is a bit more tense than he was in the semi-finals and in the quarter-finals. Yeah. 100. 3-2 Humphreys leads. In fact, Jack, before we go too much further down the road in this final, um, on behalf of Dan and me, um, a huge thank you to you for stepping into the commentary team this weekend. It's been a pleasure to have you alongside as you brought an immense amount of knowledge and passion and uh, hard work to the to the commentary arena, and we are very, very grateful indeed for, for what you've done this weekend. I'm just sorry there's not going to be a Dutch winner for you, but uh, here we go. Whoa! Luke Humphreys. May well be the English champion. 180. It's been a pleasure and thank you for welcoming with open arms. It's felt really 77. good. 77. Luger on 96. Let's see how this one finishes. Humphreys on 96 again. Trouble 19 now. Not to be. But he's got quite a big lead in this one. 36. So he'll be back. Yeah, it does seem to be zoning in on that double 18 quite a lot, doesn't he, Luke Humphreys? 83, Luke requires 60. And he's still not down to a finish either, so Humphreys, plenty of darts, plenty of time, double 10. He's on the sixth leg, Luke Humphreys. Seven flag, Martin to throw first. Well, Martin Lutman has to somehow get it together and he's up against a man who is in a rich vein of form right now. Points on the floor there as well for Lutman to make matters and life even more difficult. But as long as he can keep it close, keep it one break, he is in with a chance because he's got, he's won the ball, so effectively, it's not that bad to be one break behind. Two breaks, mm, not so easy. And also, by the way, if there's anyone out there watching who's somehow nominated the finalists before this tournament started well done uh, you deserve every penny that's coming your way and um, I think you're challenging Nostradamus with uh, a selection like that 140. no time for kissing it's the middle of a European tour final move on One hundred. Luke Humphreys began the year with a first PDC ranking title. It was a Pro Tour event in Barnsley where he beat Ryan Searle in the final. He's now on the cusp of what would be a first European Tour title. Another feather in his cap and... 81. This is a man who has already reached three World Championship quarterfinals and he's only 26. He's going to win majors, surely. surely he's going to win majors. I would, well, I would not 100. bet against it at all. Sun here for Lutman. Easy for eight. Luke on 103. He's finished quite a few of these today. Treble 18. Not to be. 95. 
Five in your advice, 16. Big deep breath for Humphreys. Just taking this opportunity to have a breather as uh, Lutman does likewise. Lutman is increasingly taking his time here as well in between visits. I just feel that, okay, it, it's all well and good setting yourself, but he's losing a lot of momentum and a lot of rhythm. And maybe, just maybe, that's showing here. Double four. Yeah, Whoa. I'm concerned now. I just wonder Blue whether he's beginning just to eight. suffer a little bit of fatigue. It's a long day, admittedly. Double two for Humphreys. Five two seven, is another break. Humphrey. Had that situation arisen early in the day, I don't think Luton would have taken anywhere Game near on. that amount of time. Maybe he's just trying to pace himself a little bit as well because when you're playing a player like Luke Humphreys and he's on fire, you tend to run with him and you don't want to do that because you overrun yourself. Yeah, for two players who produced 10 some plus checkouts this weekend, we've not seen a checkout higher than greater or greater than 60 so far, but Humphreys won't really care about such statistics. It's all about winning the next two legs or winning two legs along the way somewhere. No, he needs three. Sorry, three. First to eight in the final, of course. 59. He's got to go down to the 19s, finds a treble. A single 19 or a treble leaves him a finish. It's a 167. Look, we need to 140 to get there. Yeah, the difference in scoring power is starting to tell. It's about 20 points in it in the first nine, which means 60 after three turns, and that's the difference exactly that's on the board here. Yeah, that slip up with the final dart may well prove detrimental as well, although you don't need to be a lip reader to appreciate what Humphreys said there. Setting himself high standards, giving himself a good selling off after that visit as well and yeah, maybe more so to, to stay focused because when the cushion becomes bigger you tend to lose focus a little bit trouble 19 to leave tops 102 that is a centimeter well humphreys again on throw 55. Been a bit of a helping hand with Lutman not really able to apply too much pressure, so double ten, yeah, right in the middle that time. Humphreys has a lot of faith in his ability on that bullseye as well. I mean, one, two, two, we see some players go for the 18s, but Humphreys straight for the bullseye does have a lot of faith in that particular shot, especially on the opening shot. Now then, Lutman. Maybe, just maybe. Just to put the icing on the cake and what would be a marvellous weekend, it always is a marvellous weekend, but to put the icing on the cake, maybe just maybe a nine data for Martin Lutman, why not? No, that was a long way off. And that was a long way south of the treble 20 as well, and there we go, 180 backed up by a 40, so he's lost any sort of advantage already there. Oh, Humphreys can't punish. 25 the gap plus these Ooh, dear oh dear he's not in the trouble is he really not really where he used to where he one. was in the semi-final first or second dart always a treble or just above the treble he can't find his reach at the moment oh, and Humphreys is without doing anything really spectacular just pulling away Ninety-three. Ninety-seven. One hundred seven. One hundred seven, and he kind of needs it to stay in it, and he won't ah, get it. Well, that just sums up the final, doesn't it, for Martin Lutman? He's just guilty of far too many costly slip-ups. He gives himself a, a slap on the forehead and. Luke Humphreys stepping in, looking at tops, 72 check out this time. And that is now four legs without reply, 7-2, and he's one away. Now, 
I don't think it's really relevant at the moment, but the average, there's nine points or so between them. I say it's not relevant because the, the big gap is the number of legs, and Whoa! Luke Humphries doesn't need to be overly aggressive in the scoring. He can just be steady here on throw. 15 darts, oh, I suspect, despite that 180, might well be enough anyway. Yeah, if you look at all the legs in this match, 15 darts has been enough because Lukman hasn't been able to hit a 15 darter all match so far. The two 100. legs, he's won, as you can see here, leg three and five, 16 and 18 darts, six visits. Humphrey's at four, three legs in five visits, and no, all the six visits. It is a little bit also the end of a long day. This is what you get. Big puff of the cheeks for Martin Lukeman. He knows that 41. he's staring into the abyss here. Yeah, Humphrey's got six darts. Needs to put it handy and then come back to finish it off. Yeah, just taking 60. care of business. It's Again, he's not particularly enamoured with that visit, but it's points chipped off and it's points towards the finish line and points towards the victory target. 58, Lugan again can't really make any inroads. Humphreys has a slender advantage, and here we go on double 99. 19. Martin Uruguay on match start number one. Lukman to stay in it. At least four 18s he needs. No, it's not, it's, it's not his final. He's had a fantastic tournament. But I think 44. this might have been the Luke last three dots. The Luke Humphries then for another title on the PDC Tour. 11. And he can't quite take it. Three match darts have come and gone. Anxious times for Luke Humphries, and he may well have to wait another leg, maybe. 78. Let's see what Lukeman does. 18's first. 54 for 24, single 18, 20 for tops. 38. Oh, a flyer. Luke require eight. Well, Luke Humphries has missed three match starts, but he makes absolutely no mistake with the fourth. And for the first time in his, quite frankly, unbelievable career so far, Luke Humphries, a man who won his first PDC title earlier this year, sinks to his knees.